What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace something as simple as this blower motor. But, we're talking about a Mercedes here, so you know that the dealership will want to charge you an arm and a leg to install that blower motor. And it's super simple, and you probably wonder why I got this cold on. Because it's really cold here in Indiana right now, and when your motor goes out in the middle of winter, don't freeze your ass off. Watch this video and learn how to fix it yourself. Okay, first off, as you can see, we are in the footwell passenger side. You'll need a T20 Torx bit. If you look up under here, you have this plastic panel. You have one screw. There'll be one in the middle for two screw and three screw. You take this panel out, then you'll have access to the heater blower. So I'm gonna finish taking this out and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so once you have those out, you're gonna have a connection here on the light that you need to unplug to be able to pull this down. Also, before you go to pull this panel out the way that was just up there, like I said, you unplug that, but there's also a temperature sensor here. I didn't realize it at first because for some reason mine was already unplugged, but make sure you unplug that so you don't risk breaking any of your connectors. So then after you pull this out, there'll be these two wires, one here and the one up there that are already connected, that's connected. This one, Mine seems to be all right to get it out. Some people's, it's got this little, uh, little thing right there, slidey thing, but for some reason mine was broke. I think somebody's messed with this before. Um, but it slides into that little slider connector there on the side of the motor. You just need to slide this out of that so it's not connected to the motor. Um, after that, the motor is pretty much free. If you can see, um, there's a little tab on the side of the motor. It's really hard to see, so I'll show you when I get it out. That you need to pull down um, on, and you will be able to turn the motor, and it should come right on out. So let me get this out, and I'll show you that tab a little bit better, and then uh, show you how to put it back. All right, so I got the motor out. This is the one that was in the vehicle. This is the one that's going in the vehicle. So. Um, I'm going to show you real quick. Right there's that tab that you got to pull down um, and then it'll just twist out. This is actually the factory motor. As you can see, you can see the insides of it. Um, this, as you can tell, looks slightly different than this. Um, the rest of it is exactly the same. This is actually a newer redesigned uh, motor because the I know the 08 model Mercedes, I don't know what exact year they decided to change it. Um, they realized that there was water getting inside this compartment and was actually frying the motors out prematurely. Um, so that was their redesign. So uh, now let's just get this back in the car. Pretty much all you gotta do is push it up in there and then screw right back in and plug it back up. And you're all ready to go. All right, so after you get it twisted back in, just make sure, it's hard to see the little green thing there, the locking tab lines up and it's locked in place so it doesn't come out. Hook your wires, that one and the other one that I spoke of right there, back up. And then you should be good just to put all this back on, put your screws back on and your heater blower is all repaired. Now we're all done, you guys see how easy that install was. It's not rocket science. Anybody, even if you have absolutely no mechanical experience, should be able to install um, that blower motor, even if the Mercedes dealership doesn't really want you to, because they want you to come spend that big money. Um, most dealerships, it's usually around 100 an hour to do some repair like that. Plus, if you buy dealer parts, uh, that price can get up there pretty quick. 
for something that you can do in a half an hour to an hour, uh, depending on your skill basis. But um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit a like or subscribe. I'm going to have a lot of other content coming for my Mercedes, such as repairs, uh, modifications, just a lot of just a lot of things in general about the Mercedes. So if you own a Mercedes or you like Mercedes, uh, stay tuned for lots of other content. And as always, have a nice day. Peace.